What's up guys, next match is gonna be Blunder vs Steve Angel, Blunder's team in the back 0-2, oh, we will see if Blunder can bring it back, it's gonna be pretty interesting to watch. Steve Angelo said he sent the challenge, here we are, here we go. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Nice, uh, Teraki on Landra's offense, they call me the double grunt, actually Teraki is not a grunt, <laughs> what is wrong with me? But they call me the double week to water core. So yeah, I record this one. Um, I think I'm 30 hours awake at the moment. I just stayed up for you guys. I'm going completely insane. I just like I fell asleep a few minutes ago, but I woke up luckily to catch this match live. Gotta double check if I'm recording. No one in the call this time. I don't know. No one has time at the moment. I mean, the few people would have had time, but I'm too tired now to ask uh, anyone else. The ones I asked didn't have time. So, Blunderbring, uh, is that a Helmet Tank or is that Solvers? Let me look at this team. He's super weak to opposing Greninja, so that kinda has to be a Solvers. But. It's like hard to say because it's also weak to Metagross. But Helmet Tangress is like really bad, honestly. It only checks Metagross and some physical attackers. So that's pr that might be specs for Mosa because like C um, not CBB, CTC is like on a hype train. Like he likes he's hyping up specs for Mosa. I don't know if Bama will jump on that. It could also like obviously just be Scar for Mosa. Wondering if this is HPIs, but yeah, I've been using the taunt. It just managed to Coco a lot to like pressure stall. Landris comes in safely here. Uh, I think Blunder might, Blunda might be Scarf Jump and Rocks Lando. <laughs> so we see both have Mega Metagross, both of Landris. I to uh, most like super common mons, like honestly, with Dougie gets banned, Metagross kind of needs a suspect test next. Metagross is already super good, and if Dougie gets banned, that thing becomes even more scary. Yeah, it is. Rocks land or so that probably scarf jump then. This Terrakion could be like, why did he bring Terrakion in? Is this HPA or some shit? He just got a Brock, maybe he's Sash. I'm a bit confused by that play. He just went Metagross to scout for something? I have no idea what he scouted. For HPIs or what? CC did 5 to the Landers, nice chip with the helmet. I mean, makes sense that Steve Angelo wanted to get his rocks up, but this was like really weird. Like, couldn't he have gone to Boswell instead? Like, this was like weird to bring this in on Landris earlier. And he sees this again. This is like, what? What is he doing? Uh, like, even if you predicted the U turn, he could have edged then. This is like really confusing to me. Watch him ice beam here. Steve Angel doesn't have good switch in studios at all. This game is completely insane. Steve's team is just like. Com it's like offensive, but. I really don't know how to describe it. It's like weird offensive. <laughs> he just clicks ice beam in case he goes Landris. Gets a speed boost, so this might be might be a Specs Timid one, Specs Timid Faramosa, because I think on Scarf you run Modest to get a special attack boost, because you don't need another speed boost on Scarf Faramosa, it's already super fast. The only thing that like on speed use priority, and by getting faster you, that doesn't help you to like on speed priority, so there's like no point in running Timid Scarf in my opinion. 
or like whatever nature you run on Faramosa Scarf, it's probably mixed with a minus defense nature or minus with death. Unless it's like completely special with uh, Ice Beam Fox Blasts, Bug Bars, and a potential uh, hidden power. If it's completely special. If it's physical, it's obviously U turn HJK. Poison Jab or Lunch and Ice Beam. Ooh, it lifts the Bullet Punch on a roll, and this Z move blows the Metagross away. No idea. It is Focus Punch, so. It wasn't specs. I don't know if there was the equivalent set that is going around. That that set is kind of scary, but yeah, uh, Angelos like Steve Angelos, Metagross just got blown away. So he's kind of forced to go for Shuriken here. Like yeah, he thought so, he's so forced to go for Shuriken. There's no way he goes for anything else. Yeah, the boy just went for Shuriken. He's <laughs> Shuriken problem good injury. That set is rare. Uh, some Fuga use it on the suspect this letter. Ooh, and there's the gunk shot that every like most Greninja carry these days. So like Greninja is really stupid more, that thing also needs a suspect. What even switched into Greninja that's not chancy. Or maybe some mixed defensive Alamomola. Like Sorvis Magina can like check it. But not reliable, it can only like switch in once. Maybe it can switch in twice, but it's like shaky. Yeah, that's looking good for Blunder. So yeah, as pretty as to be Scarf Jump, we shall see. Zemoth is already out. Zemoth was in Faramosa. Still thinking about like Steve Angelus' team is like. Hmm. It rocks into Rakan, so it's probably Zemoth landed then. Not sure if Dragon Claw kills, but like if the Landros comes in, there's like a big threat to Blunder here. So I'm not sure if he can afford to like off quick here. His own Landros is already weakened. But yeah, it's not like he completely loses to the land of um, Steve Angelo. Um, yeah, I'm actually not paying attention to the smog this chat because I'm super tired. Apparently, I'm Fuga has uh, turned 19. So yeah, happy birthday to I'm Fuga if you see this. I hope I will call up with him in the future. He did say like something to me once on my smog on wall, but I don't think like we talked ever again. <laughs> so yeah, Steve Angel's thinking hard here. I honestly don't see how Steve can win this. Yeah, goes for Dragon Claw, which kind of makes sense because he doesn't want to let the Lando in f completely for free. Because if the Coco comes in, he can just like sack off the the Faramos, the rocks. I guess I will trust Smog to jet that I didn't troll me there. Sometimes they're just trolling around, and maybe he didn't even have a birthday. But no, I think he has. <laughs> Uh, yeah, LSD round 2 came out by the way a few minutes ago or like a few hours. There's like, uh, Brofus is playing with FLCL if I'm not mistaken. Did I get the name correct? FLCL. I think that's the name. Oh lord, look at Dennis the Menace. I'm exposing this guy. Then there's Dennis the Menace. Um, that boy, like, I asked him to record. That boy didn't answer me, like, scum, scum. Just kidding, just, it's just a prank, bro. But come on, dude, I needed someone for this recording. 
Oh, Steve Angel's about a time. Like, he's just like going every option through. I get it. Doesn't he like rock polish here? Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, he cannot SD. Blunder makes this like. Blunder forces him. If he like SDC is in range to die from water shooting or bullet punch from meta or whatever Blunder has. So, yeah, and if he takes it's the same result. Sex of Mosa wants to keep the scarf jump for the Coco, which makes sense, but. So, I guess he is bullet punch from meta if he brings this out. Yeah, he is. So they're both bringing offensive teams. I don't know if I expected that. I would have expected to bring a bit more defensive backbone from each other. Like, from both players. This might like Zenat, but if it has bullet punch, it probably has mash. Ice punch or T-punch or both. Hammer arm all options. Oh, I have been had, but that's. I didn't think it had that. It have that. It would have that. That doesn't even kill Buzzwell, but Earthquake can't kill back. I mean, Blanda just wins this. This was like. I don't understand how Steve Angel played this track here. And why, why was the switch into Landris? Why? It's not like he had good switches to Landers because his own Landers. He was probably feeding an HPIs from Bonus Lander. Ooh, it's the Brave but Coco. I guess he just said it doesn't matter at this point. I'm just revealing this. Double bullet punch, okay. Bond takes the game. I thought I'd kill the Pharaoh with Edwin Metal, cost me the game. Oh yeah, the Pharamosa lived on 1%. I didn't think about that. Wait. They're asking if it's Scarf Brave, but Coco. <laughs> Sam Rogue, I won't predict against you again, Blunder. My mistake, forgive me. <laughs> Blunder brings us home for his team, so it scores 1 and 2 for. Uh, Sex Mexican Mistakes are up to 1 versus Alpha Runas. I mean, nice to see Blunder win, but this game was like really. I didn't like it that much, honestly, but I cannot, I cannot give a good analysis today at all. Um, I'm gonna try to get this up ASAP, get the content for you guys, and then I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna get, like need a lot, a lot of sleep. I hope there are not more games today, cause I will miss them if there are more, unless they are like a right after this. I will like be on one more hour maybe. Thank you guys for watching. Really wondering how like they're up. What they were expecting the opponent to bring. Like, I guess they were just. Like, Blunder was probably expecting some offense from Steve Angel because he had, like, priority on this scarf jump. I don't know if the screen jack got revealed. I don't think the screen jack got revealed. That might have priority too. But yeah, overall, it's still an interesting match and nice to see Blunder win this. Make the series nice and close. 1 and 2. Now, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you want to see more FPL. And I'm gonna try my best to uh, get people on the video next time. Peace out, friends.